This video will describe how to make high quality amplifier noise figure measurements with an Enritsu VectorStar Vector Network Analyzer. Hello, I'm Walt Strickler, Senior Product Manager in Enritsu's Microwave Measurement Division. Noise figure is a figure of merit that describes the degradation of signal to noise ratio due to the added output noise power of a device, such as an amplifier. Ideally, when a noiseless input signal is applied to an amplifier, the output signal is simply the input multiplied by the amplifier gain. Realistically, the input signal is not noiseless and the output of the amplifier is larger than the input signal multiplied by the gain because noise is added to the process of amplification. Noise figure describes this relationship. The addition of noise can manifest itself in many ways. In a cellular system, it can affect voice quality. In digital communications, it can affect bit error rate, either slowing the communications or degrading quality of a streamed video, perhaps. In radar systems, it can limit the range and or detection of small radar cross-section targets. To overcome signal-to-noise ratio degradations, one can either increase the signal power or decrease noise. There are often constraints on increasing signal level, for example, regulatory controls, system power consumption limitations, antenna size restrictions, and system cost restraints. It is often easier and less expensive to decrease noise rather than increase signal power. Measuring noise figure enables a way of comparing device or system component noise performance. Noise figure measurement accuracy is important for a number of reasons. With the increasing demand for greater performance being placed on so many systems, whether they are cellular, radar, digital communications, precisely knowing the noise performance is critical. For R&D, higher accuracy leads to better system component models, which enables better correlation between design simulations and measurements. This can lead to better system optimization for greater product differentiation or more predictable developments for faster time to market. In manufacturing, better accuracy can lead to reduced measurement guard bands, which can result in tighter specifications for greater product differentiation as well as higher yields, improved throughput, and lower overall test cost. In the past, a popular technique for noise figure measurements was termed a Y-factor or hot-cold method in which a noise source was employed that could produce a low noise output power and an elevated one. The main advantage of this method is that no absolute power measurements are required. The main disadvantages are that accurate noise source calibration is challenging and normally left to only a few metrology laboratories. And large noise figure measurement errors could occur when the match of the noise source changes between hot and cold states. The Enritsu VectorStars Option 41 utilizes the cold source noise figure measurement method. It was developed to eliminate the requirement for a multi-state noise source, which would allow the use of a simpler, better controlled noise source, like a termination at room temperature. In that case, the noise figure is found from a more easily populated equation. The Enritsu noise figure measurement procedure consists of nine steps. Steps one through four are for test preparation and setup. Steps five through eight are instrument setup and measurement configuration. And step nine is the actual measurement. Step one is the measurement of the DU tube gain or S parameters over the frequency range of interest. Ensure the amplifier is not in compression during this measurement. In this demonstration, we will be measuring the noise figure of a mini circuit's 6 GHz amplifier. Since gain is a basic VNA measurement, we won't walk through the measurement process. Step two is assembly of a composite receiver for the noise figure measurement. There are two key elements for constructing the composite receiver. First, target a gain for the composite receiver that will ensure the DUT and preamp noise power is much larger than that of the VNA itself. Usually a gain of about 40 dB will be sufficient. It is recommended that the noise figure measurements are made by connecting directly to the VNA receiver. For VectorStar, that's port B2. This allows you to get optimal performance from the composite receiver. If too little amplification is applied to the composite receiver, there may be too much jitter from the instrument's A to D converter. If too much amplification is applied, resultant power levels can cause compression and impact the measurements. Selecting a VNA that provides a wide noise figure measurement range enables greater composite receiver configuration flexibility, simplifying setup and offering the ability to test a wider variety of devices. 
the Enritsu Vectrostar family offers the widest noise figure measurement range in its class. For this demonstration, we have elected to use three mini circuits amps and our composite receiver, each having a gain of about 13 dB, giving us a composite gain of 40 dB. The second key element to constructing the composite receiver is filtering. It is important to include filtering to remove unwanted receiver images. We will be incorporating a mini circuit 6 GHz low pass filter. Once the composite receiver has been constructed, we are ready to calibrate the receiver. To get the highest measurement quality, it's recommended to first perform a power calibration of the test port over the frequencies of interest to optimize receiver calibration accuracy. This, step three, is optional. A user power calibration is a basic VNA operation, so we will just remind you where to locate the power calibration feature. Step four, receiver calibration, enables us to transfer traceable power accuracy to the receiver. The power level selected was minus 10 dBm with 40 dB of source attenuation. Remember to take into account the gain of the composite receiver when determining the power level at which to perform the receiver calibration. For this demonstration, we selected a power level about 45 dB below the 1 dB compression point of the B2 receiver, about minus 5 dBm. When complete, we save the receiver calibration. We are now ready for step five, noise figure measurement configuration. For this demonstration, we're going to measure the noise figure of our amplifier from 3.5 to 4 gigahertz, with 201 frequency steps and 3,000 RMS points per noise computation. Trade-offs can be made between the measurement speed and data jitter by adjusting the number of RMS points. In steps 6 and 7, we will recall the preparation data, the amplifier S parameters, and the receiver calibration. We then perform step 8, the noise calibration, to calculate the receiver noise power so it can be removed from the calculations. Again, the Enritsu Vectrostar cold source noise figure measurement methodology enables us to use a simple termination as the noise source. We insert the DUT and here is our noise figure measurement. As a sanity check, we compare the data with the manufacturer's data and see that the amplifier is behaving as expected. In many applications, the noise figure measurement data is only part of the answer. It may be important to know the uncertainty of the measurement as well. Because there are so many possible contributors to the noise figure measurement uncertainty, Enritsu provides an uncertainty calculator. It's a standalone program that can either be run from the desktop of the Vectrostar VNA or on an external PC. It provides the ability to calculate noise figure measurement uncertainty as well as determine the optimum measurement setup to achieve a desired measurement uncertainty target. Option 41 for the Enritsu Vectrostar family of VNAs enables easy and accurate noise figure measurements. We hope this video showed you just how easy it is. 